And when things are tough, it's important to find the time to decompress. That's why we have 15 minutes of fun ready to go for you. It's time to escape together. You know what I mean? On a brighter note, did you hear it's National Fresh Breath Day? How am I doing? <laughs> Trick question, right? You can't smell anything through a phone, but it's great. I am your host, the queen of words, mintiest breath in all the land, Anna Roisman. You can find me here on social media where the reviews are wild girl or she's very silly on Instagram. That's from my mom, obviously. Tonight, I will show you 12 puzzles. When you make it to the end of the rainbow, you will win some of the pot of gold, which is $2,000. You can invest some of that money in mouthwash. Ha! <laughs> I'm kidding, but you could. Also, you start tonight's game with five strikes on top of the strikes you already have from leveling up on HQ season four. You hear we got season five coming along. Hey, it's time to spin that wheel around my face. If there's one thing we celebrate in this game, it is how we communicate through our words. We lost a brilliant writer this week, Toni Morrison. This was an iconic woman who gave us so many great stories and lessons in her books. Here's a quote that I love. If there's a book that you want to read, but it hasn't been written yet, then you must write it. I love that. It looks like I have a book to write. We all do. We all have our own stories, right? It is time for the first puzzle of the night. The faster you solve, the more points you can earn. Here's another Toni Morrison quote for inspiration. You are your best thing. Let's do this. Here we go. Puzzle one. Your first hint is thankful reply. Here are some letters to be thankful for. You're Type welcome. in C, E, and Y. And you, because I'm you thankful it? for you. I am. This is something we learn to say at a very young age. It is very respectful, right? Especially if we use it in the right context. What is a thankful reply that I'm looking for? The first puzzle, I gave you a bunch of letters. Hopefully you heard them. Because if you did, you'd say, thank you. And I'd say, 94. You are so welcome to play the rest of the game because you got it right. 5,381 eliminated off the bat, but you could still come back in. That's doable in this game. Hey, word nerds, have you heard the latest word this week? If you win any HQ game, okay, words, trivia, or sports, you can play in our Champions Trivia game on Sunday at 8 p.m. It is happening right before the end of the season four finale. That's right. You heard it. Champions game at eight. And then guess what? The end of season four, that means season five is coming up so soon. It's going to be so good. I'm excited. I know you are too. All right, we're moving on to puzzle two. There are so many types of books to read, movies to watch, but the one I'm looking for specifically is a mystery genre. You've heard of mysteries. Usually there's something to solve. Maybe consider this a puzzle within a puzzle. Hmm? I love it. No L. Did someone commit a crime? Are we able to solve it is the real question. Not the crime. I mean the word. <laughs> Come on. Mystery game. Mystery genre. Not game. This is a game. Oh, Who done it? Is the I'm answer. Out. <gasps> who done it? I'll tell you who done it. 61,031. You done it. You did it. You solved it. 13,955 okay, so are still out there searching for the answer of who done it. I'll tell you, some people have done it. I'll tell you something that I can say. I done it too before. Okay, it's something I've participated in. It's a festive occurrence. Hey. Is that vague enough for you? <laughs> Look, any day can be a Party. festive occurrence if you feel like it. It's all about how you feel. All you need are people and food, activities, maybe some dancing, maybe a little karaoke. Okay, now it sounds like I'm just planning this festive occurrence for all of you. And don't worry, I am. As long as my parents aren't home. Because <laughs> we're having a house party. Check it out. I mean, that, 
that's a legit house party from the movie House Party, right? In the 90s, 41,536. You solved the puzzle 20,159. Eliminated. You slept through the house party. Hopefully you're going to wake up, right? You buy back into this game because we still have some more partying to do. And let me tell you, if you invite me to your house party, oh, I will always bring something to snack on. Maybe even this misleadingly named food. Hey. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> there are some dishes that seem like they are out to trick you. Like this one, okay? It's not necessarily prepared the way you would think. But here's a good hint. It's a Mexican slash Tex-Mex delicacy. It's great with a lot of meals. But it is misleading because the answer is refried beans. Now let me tell you, as delicious as refried beans are, they are not refried. Usually they're mashed up, right, beans, and they're either baked or fried once, but not not refried. 37,272, you saw right through that. You did, you were like, oh, I get it. They aren't refried, confusing, misleading. All right, moving on, I have nothing against beans. <laughs> I've been looking for this next puzzle, and I do, I need your help right now. Have you seen it on deck? Is it on deck? A. Could it be hidden? You. I don't know. Out of the whole deck. This might be one of my favorites. All right. Pick a letter. Any letter. Pick a letter. Just make sure it fits the word. I don't so know. For. Maybe this oh, one's your God. favorite, too. I don't know. Oh, when she said on deck, I But the answer is Queen of Hearts. Of course it is. The Queen of Hearts. My favorite card in the whole deck of cards. 34,891. You got it right. 2,700 eliminated. And let me tell you, she's not a queen of words, but she's a queen of hearts. I want to see in the chat right now. Throw in some red heart emojis. Make it rain hearts for the Queen of Hearts. She's playing somewhere. You know she's also a character, right? A character from a very popular story, Alice in Wonderland. And like so many stories, are you familiar with this famous opening? Hmm, it's a staple of storytelling. And whether or not you've read the books, you've seen the films, I know you know this. I'm looking at you, I know you know this one. It's a famous opening. In fact, there's a movie out right now that has this in the title, because it's called uh, Once Upon a Time once upon a time in Hollywood is what I was referring to. Once upon a time, Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt were in a movie together. 31,988. You got it right. You solved the puzzle. We say goodbye to 3,000. But here's a story for you. Once upon a time, there was a words game that had 12 puzzles. And so many people solved it so fast. Before we knew it, we were halfway through. Oh, what a cute story, right? I felt powerful saying it. It feels good right now. Ooh, we got competitive in this game. We do. So tell me this live sports tradition. We're live right now. Come on. This is the live sports so word puzzles. And if you think about it, oh, this is kismet. This puzzle is more fitting than not right now. Seven stretcher? Or but seven? it's also a live sports tradition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you can get this one. That was like a secret hint in there. Did you see? Because it's the seventh inning stretch. Stretch uh, it out. I, I hope you got letters. it right. It's the seventh inning. It's the seventh puzzle stretch, right? Because that was puzzle seven. Stretch it out. 25,272. Woo, you're on fire. You're moving on to the next one. All right, now that we're, I'm stretched hmm. out. Are you? Now that we're all, we're all ready to go. Our brains can remember anything. So think back right now because your hint is old timey expression. I turn into a grandpa, hey, old timey like expression. This is a positive one, but derived from a less positive origin story. I think the last word's red. Fun kind of way. Good job. Answer is paint the town red. You want to see someone who's going to do that? Old is your oyster. Kick up your heels. Paint the town red. <laughs> Ross. Ross is taking Rachel and they're going to paint the town red. 
Do you remember that quote? 17,996. You got it right. 8,437 eliminated on paint the town red. I'm going to paint the town words or paint the town letters. That's what I'm going to do. All right. I know it's not paint over there, but can you please, can you please explain to me what's on the bed? I see something. Hello. It's got to be something good or else I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm not. This is something that is natural. It's on a lot of beds. Goose Some people down. rely on this. But let me tell you, if this is not your thing, there are alternatives that you can use. Instead of a goose down pillow, goose down pillow, that's the real deal, feathers. 18,267. You are light as a feather right now. You solved the puzzle in no time. 1,750 eliminated. I sleep on our alternatives, but if I did have a real one, I would probably have a pillow fight because that's how it looks fun in the movie. It looks fun in the movies. <laughs> All right, we are coming to the end of the game very soon, but first, I want to take a little class field trip to this scenic spot. Hey. Scenic spot. It's a place I've only seen in pictures, but it is very beautiful. It is a spot within another spot. You feel me? What Both time? very famous. <laughs> I can't imagine the kind of maintenance that goes into keeping this scenic spot so pretty. But they do it. The answer is White House Rose Garden. Ooh la la, you know the White House, right? And the Rose Garden at the White House. Maybe you've taken a tour of the White House and you've passed by their Rose Garden. It is very beautiful. If you have, send me a photo. I want to see it. 14,855. You solved the puzzle. 3,600 eliminated. Okay, here's one of my favorites. Anybody watch Bachelor in Paradise this week? Ah. Oh. What a gift. For some, they fell in love at first sight. For others, it was more of a friendly status. It was. Hey. This is another way of saying that. You know, when you're just friends and that's it. You're just friends. No more. Friendly status. And you know what? That's just the way it's going to be, Brad. He's watching. I know he's He's out there, of course, but friendly status. The answer is platonic relationship. No more than just friends, right? You are in a very platonic relationship. 14,927. You got it right. 1,016. We just had a little bit of a breakup. It was just a little bit of a breakup. That happens. But at this point, I feel like, are we more than platonic friends? I sure hope so, because I am cheering you on for the final puzzle of the night, because I support you. I believe in you. I am here for you. You did it. We started tonight with over 85,000 players, and now it is time to see who shines, who's taken it home. We will celebrate your win in a short period of time. Oh, I just slid right in there. That is also your hint. Short period of time. This is used when we're talking about something that happens fast. Like solving this puzzle. Did you do it yet? Are you in? Are you figuring it out? I sure hope so. In, the, in a shake of a lamb. Because you only have a short period of, of time shakes. left. Two, two, and this two one of a is stick. for the big money. The final answer in tonight's uh, game is two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, it's two shakes of a lamb's tail, baby. That means we went fast. And you know what? I'm shaking. I'm shaking all the tails right now because we've got 9,977 winners in tonight's HQ Word game. Woo! You did it. You're taking home some money. You shook the lamb's tail. <laughs> That's a fun saying, right? Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Every puzzle should be done with two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, and you're taking home 21 cents tonight. My exact age, 21, baby. And we got to give it up for the man with a plan in first place, Chad 1M. Congratulations. Good to see you there. In second place tonight, let's go juniors. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go juniors. And in third place, Mr. Sacco. You know what? It's going to be Mr. Sacco's because with 21
21 cents, you could buy another pair. You could. You could have two socks, Mr. Sockos. That is the game for tonight. I want to congratulate all of the winners across the board. Not only did you win money tonight, but you get to play the Champions game on Sunday. Okay, that's pretty exciting. Here's a story to put you to sleep. Once upon a time in the White House Rose Garden, someone found a can of refried beans. The White House staff was shocked. They set out to find out who done it. Wow, I don't know, Woo. consider me your next greatest author, but I am also your host, Anna Roisman. Follow me here on social media, babe. Together we will paint the town red, or at least Twitter. We will paint Twitter red. If you've heard the word, there's a Saturday Night Live trivia game on Thursday, and we're going to keep the laughs going for words with a comedy theme, baby, at 9.30, so you better be there to play and laugh with me. Not at me, but with me. Until then, have a great night, word nerds. I love you so much. Goodbye. <laughs>